We've got a very good fight coming up between Sean Strickland and Drickus Duplessis. But before I tell you guys my prediction, I want to give a quick shout out over to my partners over at Block Asset. They have a very fun program coming up for this event, and they have this same program for every UFC main card. Basically what it is, it is called Block 6. What you do is you submit your six picks for the main card and the method of victory, and there's an opportunity for you to win $25,000. There's also a $250 guarantee bonus for the most correct picks, so make sure to check them out for sure. The link will be down below in the description. Definitely check them out 100%. So for the main event, Sean Strickland versus Drickus Duplessis. This is a really tough fight, guys, a fight that... I've gone back and forth on many times. I switched my pick multiple times, and I almost switched my prediction again right before filming this video, but I decided I'm going to stick with my initial instinct, but there's a very good chance I am wrong in that prediction. So what I think is going to happen, this is my exact breakdown of how I see the fight playing out, and then I'm going to tell you guys the other possible scenarios I see happening. I see, I see Sean Strickland starting the fight off quite well, outlanding Drickus, probably having the better work rate of the two. Either he'll have the better work rate. I'm not sure if he'll have the better work rate of the two, but I do see him outlanding Drickus in the first round. Drickus will throw some shots. I think a lot of them will get blocked or evaded or not land super flush. It'll be a good round for Sean Strickland. He won't dominate it. He won't hurt Drickus, but he'll win the first round. I think in round two, it'll probably be another round that Strickland looks pretty good in, but somehow, some way, I see Drickus getting Strickland to the ground. I'm not sure if he'll get a takedown. or I don't think he'll drop Strickland at all, so he'll probably get a takedown of some kind and get Strickland down onto the mat. And what I see happening is I see Drickus getting control of the back, going for the rear naked choke, and getting a technical submission victory. I am going with Drickus Duplessis to win this fight by a second round technical submission. The reason I'm saying technical submission is Sean Strickland made a pact with Drickus and basically made that same pact to the fans by saying that this fight will be to the death. So obviously... <laughs> He's not going to die in there, but I don't see him saying that and then tapping once he can't breathe anymore. I see him letting himself pass out just so at least he looks good to the fans. He at least keeps his promise to the fans, as some would say. But I see Drickus Duplessis getting the second round submission victory. Now, this is a great fight. This is genuinely 50-50. One of the very few 50-50s in the sport. I mean, I do consider, I really do consider Volk and Taporia a 50-50 as well. I really think that's a super tough fight to predict, simply due to the fact that Volk is coming off that Islam Makachev fight. If you ask me who would win that fight a couple months ago, or at least prior to the Makachev fight, I would have picked Volk relatively comfortably, but at this point, I'm really not sure. But back to this fight, it's a really good matchup. I will say this, if it goes past the third round, I do see Sean Strickland probably stopping Drickus in the fourth or fifth round. I think Drickus, his gas tank is really bad. It's really poor. He's extremely good early on, but I do see him tiring, and I think if he does tire, which I expect him to if Sean can survive that relatively early storm, I, I do see Sean getting the victory somehow, some way probably by stoppage, maybe decision where he just out outlasts him and wins a 48-47 type of decision, but I'm going to go with Drickus Duplessis by a second round submission win. I don't see him stopping Sean Strickland by KO or TKO, I really don't, unless it's from ground and pound, I think that's possible. He could get a takedown and, and spam elbows as Strickland did when, <laughs> when they met up at, what was it, UFC 296. That could possibly happen, but I can't see Drickus TKOing or KOing Sean. Israel Adesanya, who some even consider the greatest striker of all time in the UFC. I don't, but a lot of people do, and a lot of people consider him the best striker in the sport currently, got completely outstruck and neutralized by Sean Strickland. I can't see Drickus being able to stop Sean on the feet or really have too much success on the feet. He might win a round or two on the feet. Probably not, but he might have some success on the feet, but to the point of stopping and dropping him, I don't see that happening. I'm going to go with Drickus Duplessis, second round submission win. Quickly down the card, Raquel Pennington versus Myra Bueno Silva. I'm going to go with Myra Bueno Silva. First round submission. She's pretty marketable. She seems like a really good up and comer. Raquel Pennington is pretty unbearable. I see Silva getting the early submission win. Neil Magny versus Mike Maylott. I'm going to go with Mike Maylott by a competitive decision, unanimous decision victory. I don't think he'll do anything too impressive. I don't think he'll stand out too much. Maybe he will, but I'm going to go with him just winning a competitive decision. Magny will give a better fight. Than he did in his last time out against Ian Gary. I see giving I see him giving Mike Mayla a better fight, but still losing. Chris Curtis versus Mark Andre Barriol. I'm gonna go with Chris Curtis to win this fight. 29-28 unanimous decision win. Chris Curtis, really good puncher, really good chin, always comes to fight, really solid fighter overall. Mark Andre Barriou is a is a good name as well, but I, I do trust Curtis to get the job done in the competitive fight. I don't think he'll get the stoppage win. I think it'll, it'll go the full three. It'll be pretty back and forth, but I see him getting the job done. Arnold Allen versus Mavzar Evloev. I feel 
I actually am going to go with Arnold Allen to win this fight on... I'm going to go with points as well. He, I just see him having the cleaner striking, the better experience. Evloev hasn't really impressed me that much. He's a good fighter, but he's had some tough fights against lower opposition. I see Allen getting the job done. And Charles Jordan versus Sean Woodson. I'm going to go with the season vet, Charles Jordan, to win my second round TKO victory. Sean Woodson doesn't impress me at all. Jordan, good power. I'm not going to lie. I don't know as much about that fight. That's the one fight where I didn't do it. I did research, but I just couldn't figure out too much on exactly how I see it playing out. But I'm going to go with Charles Jordan by second round TKO win. So quick little recap, Drickus Duplessis, second round submission, Myra Bueno Silva, first round submission, Mike Maylott, unanimous decision, Chris Curtis, unanimous decision, Arnold Allen, unanimous decision. Al Arnold Allen one might be a split, though. I wouldn't be surprised. That's the, that's one I could see being a split. And Charles Jordan, second round, KO slash TKO. That's my final picks, guys. Make sure to check out Block Asset. I really do appreciate them. Definitely check them out. Link is down below in the description. Have a good one, guys. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.